Any runner besides Martinez, Dernier or Sandberg. There's a drive way back, way back. It might be out of here. Oh, a sensational catch by Eric Davis, I think. He's still lying down. They haven't made a decision. He caught it, Harry. He did look like he caught the ball against the wall, and there it is. He's just holding his hands up. He's hurt, but he made the catch. Eric Davis just saved the ball game. Holy cow. What a play. The tying and winning runs had already crossed the plate. He's still down flat on his back. What a way to end it. What a play by Eric Davis. It doesn't look like he's got any chance at this ball. Now let's take a look at it. What a play by Davis. Oh, wow. Oh. Looked like there's something wrong with John Franco because they were huddled around Franco. Harry, he's hurting. Franco is at the first baseline and he's bending over, having some trouble walking. Let's get over to first base, Arndy. Yeah, there it is. We've been, uh, there's two players hurt. Eric Davis is still lying down. There he's getting up. What a catch. What a play. No, I don't know what other center fielder could have made that play. He uh, running at top speed. He crashed into the wall, too. I talked how graceful and easy earlier today that uh, Eric Davis made the, the catch. But there was no, may, no way of making it easy, look easy this time. Let's look at it one more time, Arnie. Harry, I thought this ball was in there for sure when it left the bat. A little bit of wind blowing in made the difference. Harry, boom. He came a long way for this ball. And then crashed into the wall. At the same time, John Franco was down right around first base. Even on a day that Eric Davis strikes out three times in one game, walks twice, won a very important walk, he still wins the ball game for the Cincinnati Reds. Look at his teammates. 